Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. And this is Trine Morning. And let's start our new week. Yes, we shall. Star. Do you know what we're doing this week? No. We plan to take over the world. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, I'm only treasurer. No, well, let's just start. <laughs> I'm awakening to a sharp rap in the door, by the way. Miss Harrington, if you please. Oh, yes, I was right. <laughs> I thought it was going to be um, Potsdam. Stepping outside, I spot Professor Grabener and clutch protectively at my robes. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> out of yourself, bed and Morris. feeling vulnerable. I was not expecting to be facing him this early in the morning. Good morning, sir. Is there a problem? No. <sighs> and hands me a folder bulging with papers. The label on it reads, Election Protocol. You will review these documents and meet me after class today to discuss your campaign strategy. Unless you'd prefer to forfeit now and save us both the trouble. He'd like that, wouldn't he? No, sir. Very well, then. Good day to you. How much strategy is involved in this election, anyway? Apparently I suppose I found out this afternoon. First, I have to decide on my schedule for this week. Yeah, I'm kind of scared about the strategy for the election. All right, um, I think we should start by sleeping because of our stress level. Oh, yes, it is quite high after our stressful detention. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe we should focus on everything except blue this week because everything is so low compared to our blue well it's your choice of course all right let's do some white and some black and green and red sound good yeah looks good to me okay done i'm reducing my stress good for you uh oh oh it's time to plan i don't like this room <laughs> i arrive in the empty conference room and take a seat spreading out the folders worth of papers in front of me the elections are held on Friday afternoon. Before then, I have to decide on a campaign slogan, do promotions, and write a speech to convince people to vote for me. That's not much time. I'm still not entirely sure what the class teacher does, the class treasurer does, sorry. Usually that means organizing fundraisers, but I haven't heard about any of those here yet. Fundraisers? I wonder what that can involve um, at a magical um, school. Hmm. Yeah, do we need money? <laughs> I guess we do, apparently. Anyway, most fundraiser money comes from parents, but since this is a boarding school, our parents aren't here to get money from. You know, it says dollar signs on the left, but I guess we don't have any kind of special magical money like they do in no, Harry Potter. I guess not. They had oh, magical well. money. Well, it wasn't magical money, but it was it was special. It was different than the normal money. Oh, I didn't remember that, but okay. Maybe that's the point. Maybe as the treasurer, I'm supposed to think of some creative ways to get around the problems with raising money for a tiny school that's kind of isolated. But shouldn't the parents be paying for these kids to go anyway? So I'm sure you could send home letters and stuff. Oh, someone's coming. Professor Grabener enters the room. Would it be too much to hope that you have already made your decisions? Uh... Just a minute. Oh. Sorry to burst in, sir. Oh, God. How can he tell us apart? <laughs> I promised my sister I'd serve as Horace's campaign manager. You don't have to stay. I know how much you have to do. I can talk her through the steps and deliver the requisitions to you later. Hmm. Is this what you want, Miss Harrington? I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> and no I kidding. don't like Virginia. Let's go with Grabby. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, it doesn't feel right being part of Virginia's plan. Like, screw her. Yeah, she's really. still could have something up her sleeve, but I just like honestly don't like William anyway. <laughs> He's <laughs> annoying. As much as like we would make the perfect team together look wise, but you know. It's okay. Actually, sir, I would prefer to work with you. And why is that? Uh oh. Well, with all due respect, this isn't Virginia's campaign, or William's either. If I'm going to hold a class office, I should do it on my own merits, my own decisions. Interesting. However, a leader is wise to take advantage of the resources made available to her. I am hoping to benefit from your wisdom and experience, sir. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll be on my way then. He winks at me and oh. makes his exit. William, calm yourself. <laughs> well then, as you should be aware, what I need from you at this point is a decision about the theme elements of your campaign. Oh god. It is traditional for candidates to adopt a ludicrous nickname in the hopes of associating positive virtues with themselves in the voters' minds. This slogan and associated imagery will be used to design any marketing materials you requisition. The school will, be, the school will create and reproduce these items for you. Hmm. 
Have you decided on such a name? Um. Oh, oh, these are some interesting choices we have here. All right. Well, I automatically veto A New Hope. Yeah. Why do we have a Star Wars theme here? I don't know. I do like dragons. However, Lady <laughs> Lampshade Head. That seems I perfect I do have for you. Lady in my own name. And Horus... Um, is a lampshade head. Is a lampshade head. I feel the need to pick this one. <laughs> do it. I think I should be known as Lady Lampshade Head. Lady Lampshade Head. Well, all campaign nicknames, nicknames are ludicrous, right? And I can't see how they would actually make a difference. Nobody votes for someone just because he's called Stan the Man instead of <laughs> Grand Stan. <laughs> what? I don't know. Apparently there's a Stan somewhere. Perhaps you overestimate the intelligence of the average student. Maybe, but I'd rather go with an obvious joke than tear myself up trying to pick the perfect name. And if everyone else is being serious, it will stand out. Interesting. Oh, I'm weird. He just thinks you're freaking weird. <laughs> the other issue you must decide now is what marketing materials you wish to order. Uh oh. While the school will acquire the items for you, you must bear the cost from your own pocket. Ew. <laughs> they are a waste of resources, of course, but they are traditional. Tradition can be the deciding factor. Alrighty, um... Really, you don't really need to get much for this kind of thing. I usually just get one of these items, like I think posters we should get or paper badges, badges. Because they remind me of those Harry Potter ones. Yeah. <laughs> like, yelling at everyone. <laughs> Like Potter's a stinker or whatever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get those. Hopefully, they're just like that. All right. And they're only five dollars. Is that enough? Do you think I should get that's cupcakes? fine? Oh wait, I can't afford cupcakes. That is way too expensive. Okay, so that's it. And customized cupcakes? Who the hell can afford that? Nothing else. Very well. The supplies will be delivered to your room in the morning. Good day, Miss Harrington. Well, good day to you, Miss Gra Mr. Grabiner. <laughs> Miss Grabiner. <laughs> Oh, shit. I wonder what would have happened if I said that to him. I remember this at one time when uh, Snape appeared in ladies' clothing. Oh, yeah, that's true. And they're very similar. First thing in the morning, the campaign materials arrive. Wow, that was fast. I have a collection of green paper What's lampshades. Aw, each with Horace Harrington for a treasurer on them in gold ink and straight pins for fastening them to robes. We'll have to find somewhere high traffic to hand these out. Okay, are we ready? Oh, you say we're helping out after I all. I suppose. Go Team Horus! Well, at least you're still supporting us. Yeah, I guess That's we're good. over it. Whatever. Yeah, so last week. <laughs> Ellen, Virginia, and I spend the next hour catching passers by, introducing me as a candidate, and giving them my badges to wear. I get one or two funny looks about the lampshades. <laughs> Clearly, my campaign is original. Only one or two. I know, right? This is a good way to get my name out there, but it's tiring and boring. Stress increased by five! Oh my god. So stressful campaigning. I know. Yay. Hopefully we can still pass all our classes. Ooh, I can communicate. That can come in handy. Uh oh, she. Well, looks... Why are we surprised? When Virginia enters the room, she grabs my arm. Is it true? Is what true? <laughs> Is what true? <laughs> <laughs> you and Professor Grabiner. Huh? William said you ditched him because you wanted alone time with the professor, and you were practically flirting with him. William, what the hell? <gasps> oh my god, what an William! Asshole. That is not what happened at all, William. Or Virginia. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but that's not the point. Horace, have you got a crush on Grabby? Um, what the hell, Virginia? No. Hmm. How should I respond to this? Yeah, it's your choice. Because, like, I don't, but should I be, uh, you know, rude to her? I didn't figure William's the type to be spreading rumors yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe she, well, she did say she was exaggerating, so maybe he was just like, oh, she wa she'd want she rather have Grabby, and then she's like, oh my god, right. Yeah, probably. Um, I guess I'll just say none of your business. Talk or maybe you. I should say, of course not. I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> he, he's not here. I know. All right, fine, I'll say of course not. <laughs> he's my teacher. Of course not. He's a teacher. It's good to be on his good side. I'm not sure Grabby has a good side. He has like an evil side and a boring side. <laughs> well, whatever. Just as long as you're not losing your mind. Yeah, he has a creepy smile side as well. He has a smirk. Yeah. He had smirk. Yeah. On Wednesday morning, campaigning is in full swing. 
all the candidates, not just in my year, but the upperclassmen too, have taken up positions on the main quad. Why would anyone go to the main quad at this point? Calling out to everyone I who would passes, avoid it at all costs. Me too. And handing them colorful bits of paper. And think of all of the waste that's going on in here. All the candidates, which amounts to nobody except us. <laughs> right. It's loud and crowded and confusing. Some of the older candidates are spraying magic sparkles over their heads to try and draw more attention to themselves, which just makes it worse. Angela for president. Kurgan for secretary. Vote for Jacob. Vote for me. I'm doing my best <laughs> to make myself heard. But even when I strain my throat, the crowd is mostly drowning me out. How can I get the crowd to notice me? Ooh, we have a few choices this time. Hmm. All right. Smile, Smile and look pretty. pretty. Offer, offer to, to hug, hug people. people. Jump up and down. That's Perform just interpretive dance. Oh my god. Or just carry on. Um, I think the hugs. Yeah. I have 15 cute, so you I the, think that would work. You have the seller right? body to get some votes here. <laughs> I am a, a, a girl. I'm a horse, after yes. all. Yes. <laughs> free hugs, free hugs. Oh, it's Luke. What? I glomp onto him for a quick hug. Vote for me. Um, okay. Oh, I got extra cute. Oh, oh it's did I hear someone girl. say free hugs? I detach from Luke and extend my arms to her, then freeze as I remember the wings and worry about hurting them. It has to be awkward. I know. That's what we said about Damien. She doesn't even have any such fears, wrapping herself around me so that my cheek ends up against her shoulder and my chin practically resting on her bosom. Oh. Tentatively, I put my arms around her waist. It's just a hug. And then I feel her hips move. Oh, what? Go. Um, vote for me? Perhaps. Oh well, my god. Whoa, I got 10 Q points from that. Maybe cute equals slut. I guess so. And over her shoulder, but I can see. What was the deal with that the fairy fingers. girl? Uh, she's obviously a lesbian and wanted to like drag Started her humping hips our legs. Me. Yes, that is so super creepy. Okay. The things we do for politics. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that woman or the teacher. With that woman. Or the teacher, by the way. With that fairy chick. Oh, wow, we got three points. Ooh, I can write words. Yeah, that one's pretty useless, though. <laughs> yeah, can I I don't think we ever pen? use that. Oh, oh, only one. Oh, my God, green, you suck so bad. It's pretty much random. I don't think it matters what class you're taking. Oh, I can, oh. I can make a breeze. <laughs> this one is actually surprisingly useful. Really? Yeah, I'll tell you about it later, but not now. Assembly. After activities on Friday, each class has a scheduled time to come to the gym, where the officer candidates will make their final speeches. Oh, are you ready for elections. this? Oh no, I have to make a speech. You have I, to come up with a speech. I hate speeches. Since we can't vote in the senior election, there's no reason for us to have to listen to their speeches, or vice versa. The freshman slot is the last one in the day. Of course. I came in earlier to watch the end of the sophomore campaigns, hoping for some inspiration. I have a slightly better idea of what kinds of things to say, but they all have pros and cons. First up are the candidates for freshman class president. Minnie Cochran climbs onto the oh, stage. So this is Minnie we've been hearing about. Oh, I hate her. The unbeatable Minnie Cochran. Ew, Cochran. She's pretty cocky. <laughs> She's bright-eyed and enthusiastic, and says a bunch of stuff about offering a helping hand to other students. Everyone applauds. Gag. Ew. Oh, oh my God. What she's the? scary. Then Suki Sato wanders up and starts talking about how she found a caterpillar once that turned into a what? lizard instead of a moth or something like that. It's a little hard to follow. Oh I my God. She does. She know. is so the better choice in this. <laughs> I love this girl already. Oh, and apparently the spirits told her to run for president. Or some spirits. She's not sure which one. <laughs> no, you can never quite tell those spirits. Wow. Everyone applauds, but not as loudly. I would applaud so loudly to that. <laughs> After that comes the presentations for treasurer. Jacob Blazing, oh, the Blazing God. Fire, struts up and gives a very brief speech. Wait, is that really the name he's going with here? Yes. <laughs> um, about how much money is obviously in safe hands with him, and he knows how to spend it, too. No, I believe it's obviously. Obviously in safe what, hands. Well, because he's rich, I'm assuming. I guess so. And he knows how to spend it, though, so then why are we giving him money if he knows how to spend it? He looks snooty. You know. Everyone claps, and some guy even hoots in approval. <laughs> why? I'm imagining Manuel was the one that was hooting. Aw. Then it's my turn. Hi, my name is Horace Harrington, and I'm running for class treasurer. In managing money, I will... Hmm. Um, what will you do? Crap. I don't know. I hate politics. <laughs> <laughs> um, should I reduce waste or increase accountability? What are your opinions? I don't know. All these sound kind of boring. I know. But I'm a treasurer. It is boring. <laughs> uh, I guess you're going to be accountable? 
Sure. Sounds good. I suppose. I will increase accountability through careful record keeping so that everyone can see exactly where funds come from and how they are used, as opposed to the blazing fire who's just like, you know me. Yeah, you know what's good in my hands, bro. <laughs> it will be my job to manage class fundraising events. I will... Um... um well, I guess we should promote existing events. Yeah. Since they're already in existence and... Yeah, and we don't want to, like, waste our budget with new events and we don't know if they're going to take off. I suppose so. I'll work hard to promote our traditional events so that they'll be more They did say uh, tradition was ever. very important. That's true. He, he like, had italicized tradition, um, Grabby. I wonder what William would have said. Maybe he would have made us lose on purpose. Mm. <laughs> the most important thing that I bring to the table as treasurer is... Math skills or class spirit? Mm, your choice on this um, one. Um, because, like, I'm only 25 smart and I'm 30 cute. Do you think, like, class spirit has to do with cuteness and math skills have to do with smartness? Or is it just random? I don't know if this matters. I'll just say class... Uh, maybe I should say math skills. It's up to you. I'm probably smarter than Jacob. <sighs> maybe. My math skills, because I can count pretty well. It's probably oh preppy God, boy, God, she sounds like an idiot. <laughs> Way <laughs> to go. I can count pretty well. I can, <laughs> I can count real good and stuff. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for listening, and please vote for Lady Lampsheet Head. Everyone applauds. At last, it's time for the actual voting. No one hooted. Oh, no. That's so disappointing. Maybe if I hadn't done the cat poop, Virginia would have hooted. <laughs> Everyone lines up single file in the hallway leading to one of the classrooms. One at a time, we go inside to cast our votes. Each student is given a pencil and two pieces of paper containing the list of names for each office. You circle the name you want to vote for, then drop the paper into a box. For president, I will vote for... I'm going to vote against Minnie. Yeah, I definitely would vote against her as well. Suki seems Plus, like Suki found that caterpillar, so... I know. That's and I'm totally voting for myself. I don't care. Oh, really? Yes. Go ahead. You vote for yourself. I right. would too. That's that. All right, I hope I win. The moment of truth. Did I do it right? I'm so scared. After all the votes are counted, we assemble again in the gym for the results. The position of freshman class treasurer will be held by. Oh god, they're doing me first. I'm so scared. Oh, Horace Harrington! Yay! Yes, I did it somehow. Hoot hoot. I won! And I'm proud to announce that this year's freshman class president will be. Minnie Cochran. Big surprise there. I'd like to thank you all for your hard work this week. You students are what make Iris Academy truly great. The teachers will be seeking out the newly elected officers later today to discuss their positions. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Imagine Jacob is pouting terribly right now. Oh, good. He should. So, you were successful. Yes, sir. Very well. Take these keys. He hands me a small loop of chain about the size of a bracelet with three bronze keys hanging from it. And report here at 5 a.m. tomorrow, morning, to begin your duties. Five? You were aware of what your duties would involve, weren't you? Er... After all, you were given all the information ahead of time. Right. Maybe I should have spent less time campaigning and more time reading the information booklet. Oh, crap. Oh, no, I'm gonna be super sleepy all the time. Super stressed. I don't think it actually has any effect on anything, to be honest. Oh, okay. So, yay. Yay! When I push the blankets aside, the room is dark and cold. Ellen and Virginia are still asleep. I should I should be, too. Why did I think this was a good idea? Because Virginia told me to. Virginia told us. This is why she didn't want to do it herself, remember? Stupid bitch. The door was locked, but Professor Grabner gave me a key. I also have the key for the metal box I see sitting on the table next to the stack of envelopes. I wonder if we can choose to be corrupt. Oh, no! The professor isn't here. Why should he be? This is boring, pointless work, and now it's my job. Class treasurer. Class filing agent, more like. One envelope for each student to be labeled with his or her name. Five dollars for each student to be extracted from the cash box and placed in the relevant envelope. Any mistakes, and they'll know exactly who to blame. Oh, well. So then much I have for to that. go through the creative mail and line up anything received for the student it's supposed to go to. And then I have to go around to every freshman dorm room and deliver the mail and the allowances. So I'm the mail deliverer also? Yeah, sounds more like you're the mailman than the, the treasurer. Heck? And I have to do this every single Saturday for the rest of the year? Oh Crap. Seriously. As I'm making my rounds, I reach Butterfly Hall and stop in surprise. There's a huge bouquet pushed up against one of the doors. That's Minnie's room. Of course, it's Pastel's room, too. Oh, oh that snap. fairy girl. I wonder which one of them it's for. Probably Pastel. Everybody thinks she's cute. She must have boys all over the place. Or... I'm not sure if she's interested in boys. Yeah, she likes girls, I think. Or at least me. I've never gotten flowers like that. I only get <laughs> mysterious pranks. Poor Horace. Oh, well, on with the work. 
At last it's done and I'm free for the day. What should I do today? Yeah, just study. Yay. All right, and that's the end of an, oh, one more event. It's Sunday and the sports club is having a meeting or rather a game. Oh really? We're actually having a full on game? I don't want to. <laughs> Virginia's got the ball and is dribbling it across the floor towards Ellen at the goal. Kyo cuts in to try and steal, but Virginia sidesteps. A twist, a lunge, a swift kick, and the ball flies through the air. What are you guys doing? Ew, Jacob, who the heck invited you? You lost. Get out. Nobody pays any attention to him until after Ellen <laughs> As has they blocked the goal. Oh my god, what a loser. This is a sports club meeting. What are you doing here? Maybe I want to play. I'm a fit guy, right? No. Fine. You look whatever. really scrawny. All right. Um, what? He closes his eyes briefly and a wave of green magic sweeps over him. What the heck did he just do? He's cheating. Hey, you can't do that. Do what? No magic allowed. What are you talking about? We're wizards. This is real sports, not bounders. What the heck is bounders? Twinkers, bounders. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, God. A fight. This one says you guys are refusing to use magic. What's the point of that? This one? Sounds like the, those things from Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we've been doing it in Sports Club. That's just wrong. It's unnatural. You're letting your talents go to waste. Oh my god, dude. Come on, it'll be fun. You want to show off your skills, don't you? Who's for flying basketball? No, there is no magic allowed in Sports Club. Maybe we should hit... Maybe we should take a vote on it. You're with me, right, Kyo? Yeah. Traitor. What the hell, Kyo? Horus. Um, I think that we shouldn't use magic. Yeah, because these guys are kind of I don't want to side with Jacob, and plus I don't think we should use magic anyway. <laughs> um, I don't think it's a good idea. We're only freshmen, but we've got players from all four years, and we all know completely different spells. I couldn't play flying bas basketball. I can't fly. There, see? Without magic, it's just kitty games. Why should we have to hold back from the best we can do? Yeah, we should be real. <laughs> be real. Real losers. <laughs> Virginia. Um. Oh, it's her, okay. Because it's the rules, people without magic still have to hold back. You don't pick up the ball in soccer. You don't beat up the other team to stop them from reaching the goal. You do your best within the rules. That's good sportsmanship. Jacob obviously knows nothing about that. He snorts at this. Maybe we could have a special game sometime with spells allowed, but only certain spells, so it's fair. Eh, I guess. Ellen looks at Jacob. Do you still want to play? Call me when you play a real game. He leaves. Why are boys so rude? Man, he's probably going to buy the sports club next week. William isn't. Oh, Ellen, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously, he is spreading rumors about me and Grabby. <laughs> <laughs> so inappropriate. <sighs> okay, boys accept William. No. Um, boys... Can we stop obsessing over William, please? Yeah. Yeah, let's get on. back to the let's game. Let's get back to the game. Good job, Horace. Yeah. Okay, and that's another week down. <sighs> oh, it's right, Sunday, October see. 13th. Alrighty. So. Next time, we'll continue our treasurer duties and see what awaits us. I guess it doesn't bring all power and fame like I thought it would. Mm. Oh, well. Well, there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.